hi, welcome back to the Summer Rain channel. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to make your own sugar scrub. Now the cool thing about this sugar scrub is it's emulsified. So it's not gonna leave a slippery mess in the shower or on your hands. I do put the full recipe down in the description box below. So feel free to check that out. Without further ado, let's go ahead and learn how to make an exfoliating sugar scrub. These are our heat phase ingredients. So the first one is emulsifying wax. This is the secret sauce. So it's what's gonna actually create the emulsion. The reason why we want this is you don't want like a layer of oil on your shower. You're likely to slip and fall. The second reason is the way that the sugar scrub feels after you use it. So the cool thing about this is it turns from like a sugar exfoliating scrub to almost a lotion texture while you're washing your hands under the water and then you just rinse it off. You don't have to have extra oil on your skin or anything like that. It's very hydrating while being a good exfoliator without the slippery mess. Then we have steric acid. So that helps harden it up a little bit and it also gives a good silky feel. Um, kind of like how lotion is, the silky feel in the sugar scrub. And then the last ingredient in our heat phase is olive oil. Go ahead and grab yourself a heat safe container. We're gonna pop in our emulsifying wax, our steric acid, and then our olive oil. And we'll go ahead and pop this on a double boiler. These are our cool down ingredients. So we have shea butter, which I recommend cutting it up a little bit. So we're actually gonna pop this into the heated oils after they come off the stove. So I like to have it in smaller chunks to help it melt. I do this just to help cool my oils down, plus not to overheat the shea butter. Then we have our exfoliator, which is table sugar, just regular granulated sugar, fragrance oil, and completely optional mica powder. So all of our heat phase ingredients are melted. So what I'd like to do is grab my mixing bowl and we'll just pop it in there. And then at the same time, we're gonna go ahead and add our shea butter. And then just go ahead and mix this a little bit, let it start to melt for you. And as you can see, this starts to cool pretty quickly on the sides here. Now sometimes I'll find that like my shea butter doesn't melt all the way and that's fine because we'll be whipping this all. Um, I try to get as much melted as I can though. I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this. As you can see, the shea butter didn't melt completely but it has softened quite a bit. So I think I'll be able just to mix it in here. So this is all the way mixed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the fridge for about five to seven minutes. Um, I will pull it out halfway through and just give it a good stir and then put it back in. Basically what I wanna do is I wanna help all of the oils and the emulsion cool before we add our sugar. I pulled this back out of the fridge. I had it in there for maybe five minutes. Um, I did pull it out once and mix it just so the inside gets cooled also. And then what we're going to do is grab our hand mixer and just give it a quick mix. Thank you. 
And now what we're going to do is add our fragrance oil. And this part is completely optional, but if you want to, go ahead and add some mica powder. And then we're going to go ahead and mix that in as well. we're going to go ahead and add some of our sugar. I normally add about half, mix it, and then add the rest. Um, you could add it all at one time and if you wanted to adjust how much exfoliating this sugar scrub has, this is when you do it. Just add it until you have um, what you think is enough. And then go ahead and grab your container. And you're just going to go ahead and pop it in there. I like to kind of push down on the sides to make sure it goes all the way down to the bottom. And there is your finished sugar scrub. Just to show you kind of the texture. As you can see, it's very whipped light, but packed with sugar scrub. Um, when you let this set out, it is gonna harden a little bit. It's not gonna stay as light and fluffy, but almost instantly because we use shea butter and the other butters, or the other olive oil that we used, it's gonna melt on your skin and be this light fluffy again. So it'll be a little bit harder in the container. Put it on your hands with some water and it will lighten back up. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making your own sugar scrub. Bye.